haven't been on this earth for that long, 25 years. It's really, really not a long time. But up until this point now, th this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I, I genuinely do not know what to do. All right, so a little backstory. My entire life, I wanted to be a Marine. It was, it was always something I admired. It's something I respected. I, I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I remember the exact moment it hit me when no joke, I knew that immediately after I graduated, I was gonna serve in the United States Marine Corps. No ifs, ands, buts about it. No one was gonna stop me. That is exactly what I was gonna do. It's, it's, <laughs> it's actually kind of a funny story. I'm sitting in social studies class in the eighth grade, right? We haven't quite made it to high school and I'm sitting in social studies class. The high school is from ROTC, come down to the eighth grade and they're trying to like recruit us to do ROTC, right? And not hating on ROTC, but it wasn't really my thing. But I remember they asked us, they're like, hey, who's considering joining the military? And my hand went, Pew! and I was like, what the hell was that? What are you doing? Like, I always loved it, but I never like considered like, yeah, in about four years, you need to make a career decision. Like, I was like, whoa, don't throw that up so quickly. What are you doing? And they're like, oh, really? What do you want to do? They're like, I was like, I'm going to join the Marine Corps. Bro, chill. Why? <laughs> what are you doing right now? And that was it. That was the moment. I knew that was exactly what I was going to do. I knew I was going to do four. As soon as I turned 17, I dragged my parents down to the recruiter station. I said, we are signing. You are signing right now for me to leave as soon as possible. I was still a junior in high school. I still had to make it through junior year, senior year, but I wanted to leave as soon as possible. So I signed as soon as I turned 17 so I could leave right after I graduated, right after I turned 18. Then about three weeks after I graduated high school, I went straight to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego. And the rest is history. Well, you're probably thinking, Jeff, cool story, bro, but what the, can you get to the point? What the hell are you talking about? What are you getting at? Seven years, and I have to make a decision right now, literally, this week, whether or not I'm going to do another four in the Marine Corps or I'm going to get out. Growing up my entire life, all I saw on the TV was these soldiers and Marines and airmen and sailors coming home from war, serving their country, these return home videos that's and the, I just I respected and admired their sacrifice and I, I I wanted to be them I wanted to serve and it's not going to make sense from an outside looking in perspective because you you think you have served you volunteered you did seven years you've served I I don't feel like I have that's kind of the part that I think that will haunt me if I leave, once I close that door, I'll never be able to fulfill what I wanted to my entire life. I've done seven years in the Marine Corps. I never got to deploy. I never even left the continental United States. And that it sucks. <laughs> I did four years, it didn't happen. So be it. I was like, you know what? I don't have a plan for outside the military. Do four more years, really work on yourself. What's the odds of not deploying? And accomplishing that goal in four more, eight years, it has to happen. So here we are. Didn't happen. Okay, so maybe you're asking yourself, okay, so what else? If not the Marine Corps, what are you going to do outside of the Marine Corps? My goal is to be a documentary photographer. I want nothing more in this world than to be a documentary photographer. I feel the same way about being a photographer just like I did when I was in the eighth grade. My hand shot up in history class and I was like... I'm going to be a Marine. Unfortunately, once I close this military door, there's no going back. I'll never get to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And that's unfortunate. I tried. No one can say I didn't try. But at the same time, being a photographer and getting out of the military and leaving a stable paycheck and free health insurance during the middle of a global pandemic doesn't seem like a bright idea. <laughs> and two days ago, I thought that I had my decision made. I was getting out. I'm going for it. I'm going to be a film photographer, a documentary photographer. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it. And then the Marine Corps threw a wrench in my plans. Back in November, I put in a reenlistment package just in case. Maybe I stay in. Maybe I don't. But I put in a reenlistment package just to see what would happen. And I'm going to be honest. I kind of thought it would get denied. Part of me was actually kind of hoping that the Marine Corps would break up with me. 
so that I didn't have to be the bad guy. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Yesterday, I get an email. That's not what happened. I got approved. I got approved for four more years in the Marine Corps with orders to spend the next three years in Okinawa, Japan. Now, that's not set in stone. I have 10 days, 10 days. The decision I've been dwelling on for the last three years now has to be decided in the next 10 days. Fuck. <laughs> and I don't know, I know this isn't the most interesting video and a lot of times with this YouTube thing, I'm like, you know, I, I don't have anything to talk about. I don't have anything to say. Well, I do, I do have something I can talk about this. It doesn't have to be van life. It doesn't have to be chill vibes and happiness all the time because that's that's not real. I have been stressed out beyond belief and this decision has been eating at me to an unhealthy degree for years. Maybe just talking through it to a camera to you guys might help because I've talked to everybody else. Everybody else. To the point where they're probably sick of me talking about it. Not probably. They're definitely sick of me talking about it. <laughs> Do I choose the path of logic stay in the marine corps keep the paycheck i don't enjoy my job i really don't i'm gonna be honest i'm kind of miserable but it's a steady paycheck it's free health care we're in the middle of a global pandemic and the marine corps actually goes hey you remember that potential for deployments and travel that you wanted it's right here as long as you can suffer through four more years of the job you really 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 don't like and can barely get out of bed for you get to do this it's right here they dangle that carrot in front of you or do i get out i close this chapter of my life to pursue my new dream do i risk it all take what money i have in my savings account hop in the van hit the road and document the world i don't know there's a lot of little contingencies and things that can kind of go into it that make this even harder like for example i'm at seven ish years right now in the marine corps this contract would take me out to 12 of me suffering through a job just so i can go see another country and maybe deploy i don't like my job it would take me to 12 years in the marine corps i don't know that i want to do 20 years in the marine corps but at 12 years you'd be dumb not to finish it out and retire yeah i'd be young i'd still be young i'd be 38 39 years old retired but it 13 more years of a job I'm just not stoked about anymore. Or do I take exit 7.5 years? I tried. Close this chapter and pursue the new dream. Something I would look back and be very proud of. Like, I made it. I was a documentary photographer. I, I documented and photographed some of the most historical events in the past 15, 20, 30 years. I... I did it. I worked for Nat Geo. I did all these things. Or do I do I play it safe? It's not easy. But I have to decide in nine days. I don't know. Either way, it'll buff. Thanks for listening.